I think that's oh, it. Nope, that might be it. All righty. Uh, we got Bubble next. Now, Bubble I talked to just the other night, so uh, they're yeah. familiar with me. Let me pop them on in here. Yeah, go ahead and get us started here, Brandon. Hey, hey Bubble. Good to, good to hear from hey, you. Glad you just, uh, and just to let you know, that we're, we're experiencing a... We're experiencing a bit of a delay tonight, so uh, it kind of overlaps a little bit. So uh, get, wait a second after I finish talking, and then you can respond. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Bubble. Oh, Roger that. Okay. Uh, I was going to say hi. Um, so where should we start this? Okay, you said uh, you, when we were talking, uh, you had t- said, if you don't believe in the supernatural, uh, do go – uh, you, you gave instructions on something to do, and I kind of wanted to, to uh, you know, put, get our fingers into that a little yes, bit. Go I ahead was, and, and repeat that here. Oh, yes, I was making the argument, like, uh, from, from the debate of uh, how, how to prove uh, gods. I was making the argument you can use uh, uh, ghosts and demons as evidence, and then you can go hunt for ghosts and demons uh, yeah. using... Um, Using uh, techniques and locations that have can be confirmed by others, and then you can use those techniques yourself and experience the paranormal yourself, and that would be one piece of evidence to a potential god or gods. So, uh, what type of so I and I used to to run with a, like a new age crowd. So I've, I've spent my share of time uh, investigating and, and staying the night in and doing Ouija boards and stuff like that. And, and allegedly haunted locations. That's actually what turned me. I was a bit of a, a deist like before that, but that's kind of what uh, pushed me towards the atheism in the first place was spending all that time looking for, anything and, and finding nothing. So is there some, are there some instructions that you can give that would give me different results than those that I have experienced in the past? Uh, yes. Uh, for, first of all, you have to use a documented haunted place, like a prison, like a, I think they have some prisons in Ohio and Philadelphia that like from like the 1800s. Use, use one of those prisons. Um, you have to be alone, no recording equipment because it's, it seems they don't want to be formally acknowledged. They 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 turn off uh, uh, recording equipment. So you have to be alone. You have to uh, leave any recording equipment behind. Uh, you can bring a flashlight. Not too powerful though. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that scares them off or anything. But yeah, that's a. Uh, I think that would be a safer bet. Of course, it has to be at night. You can't go during seven. It has to be between. It has to go between. You know, like twelve and. Uh, four. Okay. Uh, I think I, I think I can check all those boxes though. I, I think I can um, with the stuff that I've done. I, I, I say, I, I don't know which boxes aren't you checking. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. I, I think I check them all. I, I I think that I've done everything, all those instructions. Uh, so I I just didn't have the experience. Have you had a supernatural experience after doing all those uh, t- taking all those steps? I mean, like, uh, what kind of, did you like try to reach out to them or what, what, what was that? Yeah. Process? Yeah. We, I used to, yeah, we, we would go into, we go, we, we were, I was part of a paranormal investigator crew. I was also part of a, uh, a little, uh, like a little Wiccan coven thing that did we you, would, we'd go you, and do that stuff. Did you go alone uh, around three with no recording equipment? Um, I know I've done stuff around three because that was the time you're instructed to do a lot of this stuff. Uh, uh, These, these rituals and things Uh, as far as uh, recording equipment, uh, I guess I'm going to show my age and say at the time that I was doing this stuff, it was before you carry the cell phone with you all the time. So I didn't have any recording equipment. Okay. Did you go alone? Uh, I've gone alone and I've gone with a little group. Okay, like completely alone. They can't be like in the next room. What's that? Or across the hall. Oh, they can't wow. be in the next room or across the hall. They, 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 the ghosts seem to have some sort of predatorial kind of sense, you know, like the prey usually attacks the, lo- the lone sheep or the lone goat. So it, they, they seem to be predatorial. Well, the Wait, problem so is... So they're um, predatory, 
but they are afraid of cameras. Real quick, well, uh, too, yeah, I want to say this to anybody. I want to say this to anybody out there who wants to go ghost hunting. This is a rule that you always have to use uh, in doing any of this stuff. You don't do it alone. You can't do it alone. Um, it's too dangerous. Uh, not, and I'm not talking about dangerous from mm-hmm. ghosts. I'm talking about a lot of these places are uh, are older, like you said, you know, old jails and things like that. Uh, incidents can happen that can uh, that, that someone can get hurt. You have you, you need to be able to 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 reach the outside world uh, just for safety mm-hmm. reasons. Well, well, that's the thing. They sometimes they do want to hurt you, and you have to uh, you have to say that you're allowed to hurt me because you're 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 going into the lion's den, and the de- and the lions don't attack the herd; they they attack the loner. Yeah, the lions, uh, predators in general, will single out a individual uh, that's that's alone. That's or separate an individual from the group. That's yeah, they do attack. Part- Right, yeah, they do attack the herd, and they separate the weakest individual off of the herd, and then they attack them. The animals are already yeah, so in a herd. Uh, I mean, if the herd moves on and one so animal they, doesn't follow, then yeah, automatically that's the lion's prey, but if that doesn't happen, the lion is still going to try to separate one off from the herd. Yeah, so that's why you have to separate yourself. You have to willingly separate yourself from the herd, go alone, let, let yourself allow to be hurt, because uh, some of them might try to scratch you. So you, that's uh, this is something you have to accept. Do you do you where, uh, so? How are we able to confirm this that that you can get scratched and that I, they're gonna? I, well, uh, you, you'll feel pain, I guess. Like uh, uh, you know, you'll see scratch marks. Uh, you, and you've had the get paralyzed. Hmm? Have you Sorry, experienced you? this? Uh, I I have experienced it, but I haven't personally. I have seen uh, full body apparitions, but I uh, they uh, they basically froze my body because this spirit wasn't targeted towards me. It was just a passerby, and I noticed it. And it it didn't like that, so it just turned around towards me, flicked its finger, and I passed out because it, it it was walking towards a different room, but. It, I, I got up, he noticed me, flip, flipped around, uh, just like, go back to sleep kind of thing. Huh. And you saw this with your eyes? Yeah. What color this wasn't was a the dream, thing? I have, I have, yeah, because I, I, I have had scary dreams before. Right, my, right, hold on. My I'm, dreams I'm have sure. been more... Right, yeah. I'm not asking about your dreams. Um, I asked you, what color was the, the thing that you saw? It basically, it looked like the Green Reaper. It looked like the, okay, so it was wearing black robes, or yeah, don't, it was a black don't robe. you think I couldn't that it's a, I couldn't... Don't, don't you think that it's kind of funny that when you mm-hmm. see a ghost, it looks exactly like the ghosts in the media? Like, how does that? No, I'm per- it, it would it would make sense since uh, the media art is based on the life. Art imitates life, so it's only natural. That, uh, life imitates the, art the too, would look yeah like... the i thought the expression was life yeah. imitates art <laughs> am, am i wrong about that I, it works both well, ways I, I, would, it, it... I would say they have it backwards <laughs> life, uh, it... life comes before art okay uh, they're they're um opposing philosophical positions and a little bit of googly googling told me but we're not going to get into that right now it's it's, it's a feedback loop mm-hmm. it doesn't it, it, right it, it, yeah but Somebody in chat said life imitates art imitates life, and now my head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So, uh, mm. how do we know? Or how do how have you? Uh, so, the, the, your experience with this Grim Reaper like entity? How have you? Uh, what other uh, options have you have you toyed with in your mind that it could have been besides a ghost? What other? Or did your mind immediately say that's a ghost that I saw? Um, well, well, later my uh, brother and sister told me that my father was into some occultic stuff I, I didn't know this at the time but the, that entity was going towards my father's room which was could have also been like because that this is around the time my grandma passed away so uh, and so my father took over my grandma's room so it went in that direction so i'm not sure where it was going for my grandma or going for my father huh uh what so what makes you think it was going for 
anyone, I, I guess, would be my question. Wait, I thought you said they, they only attack you if you're, if you're by yourself. Well, because the, the, the entity was walking towards that direction. When I, when I got up, it, it was walking towards that direction. And when I really cleared my eyes and got a hold of what I was looking at, it turned around, flipped its finger, and continued on its way. Okay, so you fainted. You said there was a bystander nearby, yeah. a, pa a passerby? What, what did they do? No, no, the, the entity was walking towards the direction of the room. It wasn't walking towards me. It had it had already passed my bed, going towards the other room. So you, were you in bed when you saw this? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I and, and I'm not. I I had similar experiences. Um, when I was uh, in my early twenties, um, working when I was I was working overnights and it happened. And then on the weekends, I would have to. And so working overnights, I was gone all night. And then on the, the weekends, I'd have to try to adjust my sleep schedule and flip it around. And I used to have like this recurring instance where I would wake up in my bed frozen and I couldn't move. And there's something, some black entity moving off to my, to my right, um, like moving towards me. And I was just, I get, uh, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't scream and eventually just go away. And I'd be laying there in my bed and there was nothing there. Everything was fine. But I, you know, I, that fight or flight response in my, in my brain, um, still going on. So, uh, what it was, what I was experiencing was a, a condition, a, a medical condition called sleep paralysis. Now mine was triggered by uh, a change in my, that I was having this awkward sleep pattern. Uh, but had you considered the possibility that since you were laying in bed, that this may have been an instance of sleep paralysis? No, because I have had sleep paralysis before, and I had had nightmares that, ter mm -hmm. that terrified me more than this event, and I felt nothing like it. Because okay. at first I wasn't paralyzed until, because through my whole, the, the whole, the thing when it happened, the apparition part, I, I was never paralyzed. I was just made to fall faint. And I, I have I had a sleep paralysis before. It, it's, it's, not, it's not the same. It's a different feeling. All right. Uh, well, I mean, so what you're telling me now is that you've, you've had experiences with sleep paralysis in the past, so you're familiar with it, but it also means you're susceptible to it. And all sleep uh, paralysis instances uh, are not the same. I've had uh, you know, some variability of mine, I can say. And I've, I've, you know, when I was exploring what was going on, I did find lots of people who had uh, you know, a different experience every time. So I don't want to say that your, your situation was sleep paralysis, but... Uh, uh, and tell you that that's what it was, obviously, but it may be something uh, something worth considering. Uh, we do have a, a few calls uh, backed up. I do appreciate you calling in tonight, though, Bubble. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off. What did you have to say? No, okay. Well, I, don't know. Uh, I guess so. But I, I guess if you really want to try it, use, use the method I said. You have mm -hmm. to talk to the spirits. You have to be alone. Uh, no cameras. Uh, you use a haunted place like a prison. I'd also try to damage the environment because they really hate it when you touch their stuff. They do have, they seem to do have some sort of, at least sense of property, if not some sort of politics. Of, uh, it's bizarre. <laughs> All right, That's see fascinating. You All right. Uh, well, we, we appreciate your call, uh, Bubble. And if you, if yeah, we're, we're here on, on Tuesdays. If you feel like you want to call back and then talk to us again, I'm here every other Tuesday. Uh, next week, uh, who do we got? We got Laura and is it Kenneth? Is it Laura and Kenneth uh, we have next week? That sounds right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway. Well, give us a call back sometime, Bubble. Thank you so much. Oh, Laura oh, and Laura Dave. Laura and Dave. Dave yeah. Warnock? I'm jealous. I want to host yeah. Dave. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, Bubble, uh, again, we appreciate your call. Give us a call back and you have yourself a pleasant evening. Okay.